when is the name Dockside come from? The first Dockside that was in Boston, and it was right at the Custom House. And years and years ago, the water came right up to the Custom House, so that's where the original Dockside came from. What kind of food do you serve? We serve your, your typical uh, American style food. We have um, we have actually everything. I mean, it's a it's a it's a wide open cuisine. It's uh, a little bit of uh, American. We have a little bit of a fiesta with our quesadillas. We have seafood. We have um, steak, chicken, pretty much anything that you can think of. We we work the grill very well. We have our, our fried food. We have our healthy food, gluten free food, and uh, again, everyone loves our seafood. So we can't go wrong there. Is your a restaurant a Accessible. Yes, it is. Um, we have um, parking that's close to our building. We're handicapped accessible, and uh, we can cater to any event you want here at any of the places. What are your busiest times, and how many people usually come in? Busiest times, I would say, probably are Friday and Saturday nights, and we'll probably have we'll go through a couple hundred people over the course of the weekend. Do you sell merchandises? Yes, we do. We sell t-shirts and hooded sweatshirts, and we sell them in all sizes. Hopefully we have the size in stock. Some of them go really fast where we may be out of a certain size, but we always try to bring in a new inventory. And uh, we do, we sell our, our clothing apparel. How do you train your staff on different jobs? We have a very comprehensive four-day training program. So everyone that starts with a restaurant will go through that depending on if they're a server, a bartender, a hostess, or a cook. We have quizzes, um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one counseling with the different managers. What was the most different part of opening the new location? Well, anytime you open a new location, you have to appeal to new customers. And you're always going against businesses and restaurants around you as competition. So I think the most difficult part was just, just getting the word out there that we had a new location open in Chelsea. And it, it has a great location, but it's kind of tucked in the, the Market Basket Plaza. So it sometimes isn't visible from the street itself because it's in a large plaza. So. We had to really do a great deal of advertising and marketing just to let people know where we were. But after after a, a month or two, word got out, and then the business started rolling in. Tell um, so about some of the I raised Why is that important to serve our customers? That's a good question. Years ago, we started getting involved in the fundraisers when we seen there were a lot of groups and organizations that need to raise money. Mm. And I think anybody that's in business nowadays, you have to partner up with the community. So it is so important to be a partner of the community, and our way of contributing back is to raise money, give it back to the community, and make it a better place to live for everyone. What is your favorite part of working at the restaurant? It's moments like this. It's sitting down and, and talking to you, um, getting out in the pub, getting out to the public, and, and meeting people and helping them. And that's the best thing. Anybody can get a job nine to five behind a desk, but when you can do this, and it's always on the fly. Um, that's the best part of it. What's your favorite part of working at the restaurant? I love meeting new people and working with people, and I love all that we get to do out in the community. Working with you guys, we have a lot of. Uh, a lot of good things going on at the restaurant. There's never a dull moment. There's always something to do and it's fun. Triangle people, mm -hmm. if we had, we have 150 employees. If they were all from Triangle, we'd be much better off. Yeah. Because the Triangle people come to work, they look forward to coming to work, they're very enthusiastic about working, and they all do a real good job working for us. So we look forward to our partnership with with Triangle and they do a great great job and I can't thank them enough for coming in and helping us. How you working at Dockside? Well we bring our students to Dockside to have them experience how it is like to work outside in the community and I learn the skills to work in a, in a job. How did you the Dockside before? 
Well, I've been with Triangle for three years now, and we started coming to the dog site almost two years now. Um, we come here either three days a week or two days a week with, with the students. How long have you been working here, Christina? Very good, a long time. I work on the menus, I work in the tables and the place mess and everything. What do you like the best? Setting up the forks and knives. I put the forks, knives, napkins, plates, mats, ketchups, salts, and peppers on the tables. What do you want to get out of being a dock sider? As a, um, wait, as a bar worker. You want to work as a bartender? That's cool. Yeah, that's, thank you. I did that job. I actually got my job when I had, when Triangle had their annual barbecue. When I met Joe and his daughter Lisa there and told them I was looking for a job. That's when they first tried me out here. What do you do, Dockside? I'm a prep cook, like here at the Dockside River's Edge restaurant. I prepare a lot of the ingredients that go into some of the dishes that we make here at the restaurant, such as I prepare these chicken breast meat for doing the barbecued buffalo wings. What's your favorite di dish, Dockside? Oh, there's a lot of things I like to do, I like to have. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a, in a Mexican mood, so I often have myself an enchilada for lunch, which I usually fix myself, or a burger, or a sandwich. What's your favorite dish you serve at the dock? Right now, I would have to say it's the apple walnut salad. What's your favorite dish you serve at, at the dock side? You know, from day one, it's always been steak tips, and we've evolved and changed a lot of things. And my daughter, who's really on top of this stuff, you know, she comes with these new veggie ideas, and we put all these things on the menu. But at the end, it's still what people want, steak tips, hamburgers, and french fries. There's nothing wrong with that. Good.